All right, so uh, this is another recording for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Man, I have a lot of backlog, so I'm trying to get rid, knock them off bit by bit. But yeah, this is this talks about um, Kip Rich. What well, artists I grew up back in the days? Yeah, like one of my favorite artists. Yeah, I can and um recall a bunch of tunes that he's done. Uh, very underrated artist who I think should have been should be bigger. But he's just so much I kind of commend, but yeah, I am kind of have to just criticize a little bit. Because he's talking about, he recently said that, he said that he's talking about the, about the lot of the killings on, yeah, he recently did a song, he's supposed to be an upcoming song that speaks against um, the kill, these rampant killing of women, which is called When Protest. And yeah, and which is and i'm gonna say this yeah keep right here i mean he's doing a good thing I mean like we uh, as a man they can say like, we have to kind of call out the stuff like this so i'm not really fighting him down for this gesture um the issue i'm kind of having and which is that i don't like is that is just it kind of says yeah we can make sense about women being murdered and killed which we should not um which but we're not really going to be talking about the fact that a majority of the murder of victims are males. Yeah, this is something that the mainstream media and a lot of these activists, they always like to, they love doing this thing where we don't act like the male murder victims who are more than the female victims. Yeah, we don't really matter. And yeah, I know people said, why should you talk about the man? Um, how many women are talking about how many we need to stop murdering men? yeah there you go like i have rarely heard any corners where any artist male or female talk about the men who are killed or getting murdered more and all that is is bad design and i definitely follow to an agenda that is going around in jamaica is saying that female lives matter more than the males in a, in an ideological idealistic society however both male and female lives should matter equally reason what has happened is that we're desensitized to Jamaican males, black males in particular, um, getting snuffed up because yeah, we're taught that hey, males are not really considered as important. I'm not joking when I say this though. There's that's an obvious truism right there is that male lives in Jamaica are expendable. Like we're there just to just whether to perform it just exists for the sake of existing we perform certain functions where a misfortune mis happens to us especially like when you get cut down we pretty yeah, we pretty much treat that as yeah that's not that significant of course and to be honest and fair many of these female victims of violence we don't care about them either because it's a select few that will focus on a lot of other females who brutally cut down by whoever, male or female, yeah, we just say, yeah, we ain't really focusing too much on this, and we're just gonna, but we'll pander to the females because, yeah, because pandering is the order of the land. And it's so a similar recording I did, I don't know if I released it with Damon Crawford in the um, in the, with the PMP several months ago, months ago in summer. He did that thing where he's just talking about all oh, women should be respected and this and so on. And all we need to do, and how men need to do this and that, which I know, and I know what he was doing. Like he's saying, hey, I'm catering to the female vote, so I'm just going to tell a big half truth. And even Damian Crawford knew what he was doing. But he say, hey, if I pander to a certain demographic, that's going to guarantee you that people are going to vote for me come next election. And well, we all know how that's turned for his career, but I digress. And this is not really me beat up on Kip Rich, but yeah, dude, this is pandering, man. This is borderline on pandering. You're just saying, hey, I'm just saying this because I want to appeal to the female audience because most of the people who probably buy most of these artists stuff are females. And he just figured, hey, let's just, I want to really just do something that's going to guarantee me um, some um, some notches up on the billboard. If I, if I get that lucky, if I get play to the radio waves instead of saying hey murders need to stop with equal emphasis on both male and female that's pretty much not going to hit the, pa the pandering 
um, um, channel um, um, hit the pandering root as deeply, but that's kind of what I have to say about it yet. I just wish that we would stop just acting like it's just the women who get murdered when it's an overall fact known that the males get murdered, but we in Jamaican society have been conditioned to not care about the males. Like, if a male gets, man gets, or if a boy gets cut down, or well, especially the man's case, it must be something that they mix them mix up with. Like, a man gets murdered or killed under some worse, mysterious circumstances, he must mix up into something. He brought it on himself. Boy gets cut down here, yeah, we'll have fake tears. But we're not really going to be making it as we're not going to be make it occupy our minds or mind space too much. Now, even if it's a case where the males are innocent or are just good or the civilians, yeah, we're just going to just act like, yeah, this is we're just going to this is going to quietly go down that memory hole and then we're just going to not really, really revisit that. And I must say to Jamaica, that's a very dangerous narrative you're pushing it and so on. And that dangerous narrative is when it hits close to home, you're going to realize how deep my words hit though. And yeah. So yeah, not really bashing Kiprich, but yeah. That is, yeah, I think that we need to move past, past, past that part where we just act as one gender in terms of murder victims matter more than the other. All right. Jamaica will be better for it if we stop the play um stop being partial so this is for state of jamaica and caribbean check out my other youtube pages miles Gus and fern miles your productions with thoughts and miles right